Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel today. Um, as you can see, we have Black Beauty here up on the lift and we are going to be servicing the rear differential because I haven't ever done that um, since I've had the truck. And I already checked while it was on the ground, the fluid that came out of the plug is black. We're gonna go ahead, I already break clean this whole area. Um, it's still greasy and nasty. So um, one thing I didn't know, here I'll bring you over here real quick, <clears throat> is this tag right here. You probably can't read that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is, um, let's see, right here you can see it says L10. There's a four up underneath this bolt, but that means it's 410 gears with a limited slip differential, which honestly limited slips are very good differentials. Um, highly sought after, I don't know why. What's up guys? So I'm sitting here editing this video, right here, the video you're watching right now. And, um, yeah, so I just uh, recently, in this, this this part of the video that I'm editing, said, was discussing that I read the tag and I have a 410 geared limited slip differential. Now I said I they're sought after and I don't know why. And the reason they are sought after, I actually looked it up um, while I was eating lunch with the guy I was at the shop with. Um, the reason they're sought after is because the way they work is when one wheel starts spinning, it starts slipping and so it sends more power to the wheel that has more traction. So, um, in theory, they lock up at a certain point, right? And so like with an open differential, that'll never happen. If one wheel is spinning, it will always spin and the other one will just stay stationary because it sends power out the easiest trail, which would be the tire that's spinning. Now, a limited slip does the exact opposite of that. It sends power to the one that has more traction. That's not spinning. And then there's also um, what's called a locking diff, or a lot of people weld them, weld their open diffs, and that makes it solid, so it sends the same amount of power to both sides all the time. Limited slips are just really good all-around differentials, simply because of the fact that they will send power to the wheel that has more traction, that is not spinning, which causes the wheel that is spinning to not spin. So that is why they're sought after. That is why they're good. This is a Dana 80 axle underneath the Black Beauty, which, um, like I said in the video that you're about to watch, uh, or that you already watched was very a very popular axle back in the day, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. So just thought that was a cool fact and I thought I'd throw it in there. But these Dana 80s and the 90s, they came in the Dodges and the Chevys, uh, as well as these Fords, they all came mostly with limited slip differentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna break this cover off after I get a pan under here and we're gonna drain this fluid out and uh, we'll take a look at it when I get there. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, I got most of the bolts out. I left three in, so what I'm gonna do is take this screwdriver and jam it up in here because these are silicone sealed. Um, so you basically get up underneath the cover and pop it open, it'll drain the fluid out. Um, and that will give us a look at the fluid. I'm pretty sure it's black, nasty. So we will be able to tell in the bottom of the diff um, what kind of condition it's in simply because the color and the amount of metal shavings that come out of here. Uh, hopefully it's in good shape. I really don't want to have a bad diff. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. All right, guys, here you go. So you can see it's still relatively clear, but it is fairly black. Um, you can still see through it, um, but it's really dirty. So we're gonna let this drain out a little bit more, just to let it kind of drip. So, 
judging by the uh, the diff cover here, looks like we've got some bubbles. But if we look down in here, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, try and turn on a flashlight. But here we go, you can see down in here, um, we dip our finger in. You can see there's not really any metal shavings. It's all relatively clear, which is good. That means our diff isn't eating itself. Um, and based on the looks of these uh, teeth, they are not marred in any way, shape, or form. Um, everything looks quite good, actually, inside of here. Um, even these ones in here, they look, they look pretty good. Quite surprised considering the condition of the rest of the truck, but it is a Dana 80, these things are beastie. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna break clean the, uh, the whole inside of this, get all the old fluid out. Uh, same thing with this, I'm gonna clean it up. Um, and then we'll take, uh, we'll take this to a wire wheel and clean up this whole ring considering it's rusty. This, we'll do the same thing, we'll just clean it up um, with a razor blade and then uh, I might get a grinder and a wire wheel and brush all this stuff off. See, this is the silicone. Whoever sealed this last didn't use the right kind. I was gonna do the same thing today until I was informed otherwise. So um, there's a special silicone you have to use that is formulated to uh, work with gear oil so it doesn't dissolve. Um, so yeah, so what I have here is um, full synthetic 75140 gear oil. Uh, I got five quarts because I was gonna do the front diff, but on these things, the front diff is ridiculous. So anyway, I'm gonna clean this out and uh, I'll get you up with you in a minute. wanted to know the condition of the diff but as you can see it is oh my it's hard to spin there from the tire it is very clean very good looking diff um yeah no complaints here Alrighty, so now we're going to i'll put on a time lapse of cleaning this up and cleaning this up and then we will uh, go from there saw we got the inside of the diff cover and the actual differential and the uh, differential housing clean um, so now I'm gonna hit this one more time with brake clean to get all this dust out of here all the uh, the old silicone you can probably see it. yeah all that black silicone so we're just gonna hit this one more time we're gonna hit the diff one more time and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there so we'll hit the diff real quick Full edge, and then we'll take this it in here and we will have to wipe this one off again. Okay, we got a rag here. So we will just kind of wipe it down, wipe it out. Whatever you want to see it. Just get the crud out. And then we're gonna let these things sit and dry for a little bit. Um, let the brake clean all evaporate off. And then uh, we'll continue on with the process from there. All right, guys. So one uh, one thing you can do um, before opening your diff up to see if it is uh, having issues or not is come right here to this drain plug. I'm pretty sure these have a magnet on the back of them. Um, so we are going to put that on there and just pop this. 
this off. As you can see, I already had it off earlier just to make sure that there was actually fluid in there um, because if there's no fluid in your diff, it's just going to eat itself. So we will just pop this plug out. And on the back of this, there should be a bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll bring it out in the light. Okay, so as you can see, the back of this thing is covered in crap. Now what you don't see is how much is there. And the reason we didn't see very much stuff in the oil is simply because of this. And most of the time this thing will, uh, will hold on to all those metal shavings. So we're just going to dig this out. Yes, look at that. Okay, so there you go. That all came out of here and there's still more. Yep, still more. All right, now you can start seeing it shiny and silver especially in here, it's silver. Those are the metal shavings um, that are barely absorbed with, uh, with any oil. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? No, there's, um, every vehicle will have, um, focus on my hand, there we go. We'll have metal shavings on the magnetic cap here on the plug. Um, it's, just, it's just how it works, so these things grind together Every time you're driving, all these gears are constantly, even back up in here, you might not, yeah, you can see in there, there's another gear that this meshes with, um, pinion. But if you have a diff, they always have this magnetic plug in them, and they will always have metal on them. But that was not a lot, and there weren't any big chunks. It was all very, very fine particulate. So, not a big deal. Just thought I'd share that with the world. All right, guys, so now we're going to seal up this diff. It has dried up enough. Um, we have this gear oil specialized formula, silicone, gasket maker. Um, yeah, I don't know why Ford couldn't have used an actual gasket. They had to use silicone, which I hate silicone, but it works, so I don't complain too much about having to use it. Um, so we'll just pop the top on this thing. There we go. And I think I'm just gonna use the tube. So we are going to put this um, on the diff cover here. We'll put it right in here and it's gotta go outside and around each of these bolts. And we'll fill these middle parts in. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we got the silicone all around here. And now I'm just going to kind of smear it around with my finger a little bit. Um, make it uh, a nice solid seal all the way around there. So there we have it. Um, I'm just gonna take one of the bolts for the top and slap this thing on here. Just like that. Just get this bolt started. And then we can run it in with the impact here. Just, just tight. Perfect, and then we'll take another one and put it in the bottom and we line it up. Alrighty, there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the rest of these in real quick. Guys, so I cleaned up the, uh, the tag here, and as I was saying before, you can see right here it says 4L10. That means it is a 410 gear ratio um, and is a limited slip. All right, guys, so now um, I got the diff cover back on. Um, that silicone needs to sit and dry for a while. Uh, but I thought I would talk about this. So how you fill a diff, um, these bottles have these little, little cone caps on them. And they are sealed. Actually, I think they're sealed in here. Too. Yeah, so they have a paper seal right here on them, so they won't leak. Um, and you have to cut these caps off. But what you have to do uh, to fill it up, you can't overfill it because if you overfill it, it'll just run out the plug. So we're gonna pull this plug off. Okay, kids, here's a lesson. Don't cut your thumb, it hurts. very tight um, so they don't leak and I'm gonna take brake clean and just hit this a little bit just to get all that oil off of there 
I need to do the front. Now, the reason I'm not doing the front is because I have to tear the whole front end of the truck apart. So this is the, um, the four wheel drive version of the twin I-beam axle that Ford had, or that Dana made that Ford used. Um, so this is the front diff cover from here over to here. This whole side of the axle is. And then on the back, it's the actual differential housing um, is separate from this side of the axle. So what I have to do is pull all of everything out of the front hub and pull these axles, these axles out of the diff on both sides and then unbolt the diff and unbolt the drive shaft and actually drop the whole differential housing um, to service this. So I am not gonna do that now. That will be at a later time, but considering that the, the uh, back was fine, um, I'm gonna guess the front's all right too, simply because the back is used way more than front on a four wheel drive truck, especially when it's only used for the road. So that's gonna be it for the video guys. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you drop a like, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below. If you liked it, didn't like it, whatever, I don't really care, I read them all. So just leave me a comment, It'd be wonderful. Um, hope you guys have a great day, catch you in the next one.